then we can go on and think about what perhaps the regulatory opportunities are. And um, standing up here as an Englishman speaking about European regulations, it's just occurred to me how ironic that is. So hopefully I can come back in a couple of years and talk to you about the UK regulatory landscape as well, which uh, if my colleagues get this right, hopefully won't be too different to the European regulations. So EMA, FDA, clearly there's a lot of overlap in terms of similarities. Mostly it's the naming that is different. In terms of development support, the prime package is our main one in Europe in early development setting, which of course gives us a number of potential benefits in terms of development pathways, particularly in terms of support for our development program. Similarly, in the FDA, looking at fast track designation, looking at breakthrough therapy designation to expedited approval pathways in terms of accelerated approval. The orphan designation has some slight differences between Europe and the US, particularly in terms of absolute uh, prevalence of a condition. US, less than um, 200,000 people affected in the whole of the, the US, versus Europe looking at less than or equal five in 100,000 people in the population. Benefits are, of course, in terms of tax, subsidies, and extensions in terms of patent or protection. It can be done even in commercialization, where you can get a supplementary patent certificate at the SPC. There's also reductions in terms of fees in Europe. When to submit, again, this can be done at any time in your product life cycle. And it's good to see that both the EMEA and FDA having a collaborative process on this and actually can do a joint application now for orphan designation. So whilst you can do a joint application, there have been some subtle differences in approvals of orphan designation in the past. For example, the uh, PGP positive breast cancers uh, was approved in the US as a subset, but in Europe, it was felt that all breast cancers have some degree of PGP positivity and therefore may benefit to some extent or not. So there are some differences occasionally. Um, clearly, if there's a joint application, I expect that to be less so, but likely to go to a more conservative baseline in terms of decision making. <laughs>